I'm just going to talk about bindweed for a minute. Um, I'm out the front in the hot dry bit. This geranium silostomum is absolutely stunning and just literally keeps flowering. There's not very many plants that actually do that. Lots of catalogues and TV shows will tell you it's repeat flower, blah, blah. But actually very few are. This is never cut back. I don't do the very, very old hat Chelsea chop anymore. That's complete nonsense. Um, but this is a fabulous plant. I know I'm supposed to be talking about bindweed. So I'm just going to come back to that. And where we've been away, there's a lot of bindweed taken over. And there's a very, very, I don't, literally don't have any chemicals of any sort. But um, unless you're prepared to have a whole year covering an area in carpet and therefore killing all your perennials or lifting all of your perennials, which, you know, that's a lot of work and a lot of disturbance to the wildlife. I do take the view, particularly if you've got a new garden, that you do the normal thing, which is to put some bamboo canes in or anything that they can climb up and let them climb up it, because they will. They'll wind themselves around anything. And then you're taking them away from the precious plant here, Sopinaria officinalis, and the geranium here, and a different geranium there, and the mint. So you're going to bring the plant up the climbing frame. When it's up the climbing frame fully, you take the sticks out, you let the foliage drop, and you put the drop into a, a bag, whatever bag that might be, plastic bag, gardening bag, whatever. You put all that foliage in there at the base of the plant without pulling the plant up out of the soil careful not to damage it because it's very brittle and then you spray it with roundup which I simply don't advocate don't buy but it's one of the few things that I do suggest I won't be doing that <laughs> uh, I can't bring myself to buy the stuff but I'm just saying that if you've got a new garden particularly and beds that are pretty bare it is the perfect solution if you don't want to use chemicals at all and you're happy to lose a year um, and you've got bare beds or a vegetable patch, then carpet is a really good plan. We all know that it's very, very brittle. You only need to leave a couple of millimetres of the white root in the ground and off it goes again. So there you go. Um, I've still got my mind on what to do here because the supinaria has got the soap wart it has got lots of eggs in, in the seed heads where the different wasps lay eggs inside the caterpillar that's already in some of those so I'm not going to disturb that I know this is full of crickets and grasshoppers because I hear them at night so it's a tricky one interestingly the bindweed hasn't come over this side because this apple mint is too strong but eventually bindweed covers everything and it's not that it looks unsightly and that it is a perennial weed it's more that it will ultimately cover all of this smother it and none of it will work grow sorry so I'm a bit distracted then so there you are bamboo sticks six foot high probably round up carrier bag let them grow up and then spray and leave them in the bag, tie the bag gently and let, let the chemical go down into the root and kill the root. There you go folks, bindweed. One of the very few things that I will suggest chemicals for. Difficult, De very difficult.